But we do have an amazing guest. We have Super Bowl champion of MVP, Nick Foles, with us actually playing in the That's tournament right. this weekend, 3-5. How's that going for you here at the Masters? You know what? My uh, partner, Jim, and I had a great time. We went 2-2. Two and two. We, we were very humbled. Um, <laughs> you know, it's a humbling sport. We want to come out here and compete, and there's a lot of great players. And, you know, we had some good matches. We had some bad ones. But, you know, we, we gained a lot of experience, and know, we know where we're at, and uh, we can always get better. I do want to add in, though, he did win the 3-0 PPA San Clemente last year, so I was, I was, he's getting there. I was going to mention that, 3-0 <laughs> in San Clemente, 3-5 here. What are the goals in pickleball when you get into 4-0, maybe 5-0? You know what? I don't really know. I mean, it, it, <laughs> these pros, like watching these pros, like it takes so much time. It takes so much time to be great at things. I know that from playing football, how much time I had to put in, and I know what it takes. So right now, it's like, you know, if we can get out there a couple times a, a month and play, that's where we're at, and then we can come compete. I, I like the competitive juices. I like yeah that every point matters um, and you're competing out here. My wife loves it as well, so um, we've played a little bit. Um, she loves it. So we she was supposed, we were supposed to play tomorrow, but unfortunately we're not. But it was fun to come out here with Jim and just go out there and play. We, you know, we did all right. I love it. And you play with your wife a lot. You said you're in Newport. Talk about the community there yeah. and the, just the community vibe of the whole sport. I mean, it's growing like crazy. I mean, there, there's so many pickleball clubs that are opening. And then, like, I was just at the TTCC the other day, and um, – the, all the courts are taken. I mean, there's I mean, there's some open, but like there's a lot of people playing, and it's all different ages, uh, men, women, everyone, mixed doubles, you know, all these different things, and it's really cool to see. I think I just love seeing everyone act outside, active, doing something. Ball sports are great cognitively for right. for everyone, especially as you get older. Um, I did a lot of that just playing football. You get hit so much. So it's like, <laughs> how can I optimi optimize the brain as I get older? So that's one of the things. And speaking of being active, dad season on your shirt. What does that mean to you? And it so Second it's about that serve. movement that your guys yeah. are doing. Yeah, it's a special brand that my buddy Pat O'Donnell made this last year. Um, and, you know, Pat is a father of two. I'm a father of three. Um, we were teammates in, for the Chicago Bears together for two years. He's a dear friend of mine, and he created this um, just to – I know he wants to expand it, but just a, a place for dads to go to show like how to be healthy, like how to be strong as a dad, how to you know you can still go out there if you and, and get in shape, you can do these things like because at the end of the day, like being a dad is so important for kids' lives. Um, Pat lost his father early in his NFL career um, from cancer, and so like it means so much to him. So I think just with this, um, he's creating a place for like dads to go, for dads to represent. I know he's working on like cool gear and everything that to own it, um, and also like realizing like being a father is so important, but it's hard. Like I, this last year, I really. Um, got a lot of time with the kids a lot of time my wife and I always in my career with our kids like I get home as early as I can because that was so important but having all this extra time I mean it's not easy like it, it, it's so much different than playing in the NFL but it is so special my wife talked about it all the time is pouring into our kids and being around and being intentional as much as we can um, is going to pay off down the road for these children. I know you have, you have three kids. I know your oldest one's playing tennis. Yep. Are you going to get her into pickleball maybe soon, too? Yeah, I mean, she loves power. She plays every sport. Um, tennis, she'll play pickleball. She actually, I ended up coaching her flag football, and uh, she had moves on the football field that I, <laughs> I had to stop and look at my wife and said, that's definitely from your side because I can't make that move. I would have torn every ligament in my body. Um, but it's fun watching my daughter, like, watching her play sports. And, like, I think the big thing is, like, she loves competing, but she has fun. And I always told her, like, have fun. Like after soccer practice, I'd stay out there and like, hey, let's run. Like everyone's coming off the field and like, hey, let's run down and back. Like I'll race. Let's just try to get under 23 seconds. But I'm trying to make it fun and try to get her a little extra conditioning because sure. I know sometimes like we, we grind, we make it so hard, but I'm like, all right, sports need to be fun. I know even playing in the NFL, when I went out there and played and I had fun, I played at a high level. When I was stressed and I felt like I had to be perfect, it was very difficult right. to be great. So, like, I'm trying my best to instill that in the kids. But, you know, I'm not perfect every day. It's, <laughs> there's a reason dad sees them, place for dads to go. To You know, we're all in it together. Well, thank you so much. An incredible athlete. Like we said, Super Bowl champ, MVP, Nick Foles here. Debuting his pickleball skills, 3-5. Hopefully we see him at the 4-0 level soon. But let's go ahead and get back here to a thrilling game three here between the Johns Brothers, Stax 3-5.